Okay, so yesterday we started a sicha, just to make a recap. We explained <clears throat> the Mepharshim bring out two different explanations of why when it came to the Bechia of when Moshe passed away, the Torah says, Vayifku b'nei Yisrael, that the Eden cried, and by Aaron it says, Vayifku kol b'nei Yisrael, that all the Eden cried. Why didn't all the Eden cry by Moshe? So there's two answers. One answer is, uh, when Moshe passed away, uh, sorry, when Aaron passed away, so because Moshe Rabbeinu was crying about Aaron, so all the Eden cried because of the COVID in the year that they had to Moshe Rabbeinu. A shake game by Mrs. Moshe, there was no one as great as Moshe to cry for Moshe himself. So only the Anashim, only the men, cried for Moshe. The second explanation is by Aaron. Um, all, all, by Aaron, why did everyone cry? Because he was a Radim Shalim, the Nason Shalim, he brought peace to everybody, and he brought Shalom Bayez, Ben Ish, Ben Eyu, Ben Ish, the Baila. That's what it says, Kol Beis Yisrael, the Scharam, and the Kavis. So the difference between the first explanation and the second explanation. Right away, right? Yeah, Rashi says it. Rashi, Rashi, Rashi brings in the Chumash. So, um, according to the first explanation, it brings out Maisha's Maila. Uh, why didn't all? Why does it say by Meishav Yifku Kol Yisrael? Like by Aaron is because Meishu was so special, and Meishu was the one who brought everyone to cry for Aaron. Hashem came when Meishu passed away. There was no one as great for as Meishu to make people cry. Hashem, according to the second answer, it brings out a chesaron in Meishu that Meishu did not have this tenua of bringing shalom like like Aaron had. So why the Rebbe asks? So why would when well, the Torah right before Moshe Rabbeinu passes away, uh, the Torah describes a Moshe like Kosei Enei, saying how Moshe how great he was? Uh, why would the Torah bring out how Moshe wasn't Bishlemus, um by uh, when it get to the Mila of bringing Shalom between people like Aaron? Uh, the Rebbe says the 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 question is even greater when you pay attention to the Lushen. Rashi says Bnei Yisrael Ascharim, but by Aaron it says because um, it was uh, uh, that he brought Shalom and Eisah Shalom and Yishtadeu. That's why it says Kol Bnei Yisrael. So that ever says that's not. Rashi should have said first. Why does it say Bnei Yisrael? Rashi should have said Hascharim, and by Aaron it says that everybody did it. Why is that? Because he was ready to Shalom. Rashi's sequence he brings it's very very funny. Like he first brings he doesn't even bring the question before the answer. So the Rebbe says, from the, so the fact that Rashi does it this way um, is to bring out Aaron's Mila. So the question is, why would you bring out Aaron's Mila by Mesh's uh, uh, um, Petira? And even if you want to say, yeah, and even if you want to say that you want to bring out that Mesh wasn't, uh, you have to have the Anagos of Aaron, okay, this is not the place. It's not the place to tell us that. So, uh, okay. So now that everybody says we we'll understand this, so so you you must say that Rashas we learn the union of the Stalkos of Mesha that there is a difference between Mesha and Aaron. Um, the pasuk that's what the, the pasuk is intentionally uh, stressing this for Yifkum Bnei Yisrael's Mesha. And Rash is telling us uh, why that is. So what does that mean? So the Rebbe says, well, understand this in Gimbal, understand this by first prefacing the Chalal, why is the Mishra that Mishra did not bring Shalim and Yishla Deum and Yishla Why 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 Taka didn't he have that Hanhalia? Now Mishra was the biggest Oy of Yisrael. First of all, when it came to the Gashmis, the Ketzor Chayim, he was there for them. When it came to the Ruchnias, he taught them Teda and he taught them to pull the Deit which he didn't really have to. And uh, when Moshe, when Aaron and Miriam passed away, who brought back oh, the the Be'er Hamon, the the Be'er Amayim, This is sorry, the Mon and the Be'er Hamon. This was Mesha. Now, the Vortism, it's not Shlichus of Mesha. Mesha's Shlichus had different Shlichus. His his avid in life was uh, was not the of Aaron. Why? Now, because in. Like Chazal say, in order to bring Rishalim and Yishlade or Bechal, you have to a little bit be Mishan of the Emes, you have to deviate from the truth. Chazal say that Mutalila Adam Mishan is Bedavar Rishalim. You're allowed to change, um, you're allowed to change a little bit the, the truth for, for Shalom, yeah. Deviate, yeah, not change it. Deviate from the truth to bring Shalom. 
Now, uh, like we brought the Rosh Tevis shot, right? Shaker Dever Kesev Nato. Now, by Meishu Rabbeinu, since he was Midas of Emes, so he, Meishu Rabbeinu, could not bring uh, Shalim to people. Now, even though Teir says, Mut L'Shaz B'davra Shalim, uh, and Teir's Emes says, you're allowed to do that. But it's not like we said yesterday, not like you're changing the truth. You're just concealing over a little bit the truth. You're not lying. You're not allowed to lie. Teir says you can't lie, but you're allowed a little bit of white lie. The white, I don't even call it a white lie. It's it's a very fine difference between Mishana the MS or or, 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 or just say yeah or me you Mish- want, you want right. I'm not I'm to ask. Like I said yesterday, right? So now you're you don't you don't need to say the whole truth. It's not lying. Uh, you don't need to say the whole truth. No, you don't need to say. I hate your guts. You could say you're right. So you don't need to give it. Oh, okay, so, so I was on record. Okay, um, all right. So let me say something negative. So Aaron, Aaron, Aaron the, the diplomatic. Meishu Rabbeinu was the midah of Emes. Emes, you can't be Mishana from from Emes. You can't be Mishana Emes. So Aaron was the midah of Chesed. So they could you could be Mishana. B'dover uh, Ashalim. Now, when Meishu learns Tera with the Eden, so he's telling the say you know that you're allowed to be Mishana B'dover Ashalim. When it comes to Meishu's own Madriga, that his Shlech says that he has to be the the Indian of Amos. Okay, so now the Rebbe said in Hay that there's Mila's one over the other. The Mila of Meishu is that he doesn't deviate, he doesn't change. Meishu is straight as an arrow. Midas Amos, Lidah Gisa, Aaron is able to reach to the lowest Tacht and Um So this is why. By Petitus Mesha, the terror is Madlish, the Milo of Aaron. Mesha, his whole life, he's being, all he's trying to accomplish is his shlichas, the shlichas of Emes. But when he passes away, by his Petita, by Yal Mesha Harnave, which he's mashed on his shlichas down over here, so now he, now that he's finishing his shlichas, he can give over and tell everybody the Milo, the truest Milo, the ultimate Milo, the Milo of uh, of uh, of uh, Shalom by Aaron. I like remember the example, like Rabbi Yechim and Zakai, right before he passed away, he says, uh, "Any idea, but Eze Derech Melichem I see. I don't know which way. Perfect time. He doesn't know. Uh, he doesn't know. Uh, he doesn't know what. Um, he doesn't know what. Uh, he says, I, I don't know which way I'm going to go. So the the question is, what does it mean? He doesn't know." If he's going to go to Ganeda and Gehenna, of course he knows. So, so even though he was, so the Sochsidus explains that even though he was certain, that he has a with the Tachas HaShlemus, but Mitzat Etzim HaNefesh, he was not so clear. The Rebbe says it's still not understood. If it was a Suffolk, it is Etzim HaNeshomus, so why is it that he's only worrying about the Samach So one of the explanations is, is that Yerichel Mezake, his whole life, he was doing his shlichas. He was teaching, he was involved in his own shlichas. So he didn't really, he didn't really have time to like stop and think about his Nesem HaNashomah. Davka Semach of Tidase, when he is finishing his shlichas, so now he can start speaking, thinking about his Nesem HaNashomah. So same thing with Meishu Rebbeinu. his whole life, he was doing his shlichas, he was involved in his Avedo of Emes, Emes, Emes. Then, right before, or passes away when the shlichas is complete, so now he could start telling you, yes, my own shlichus was shlichus of Emes. But do you want to know the ultimate level of, of the ultimate level or, or what you should really strive to be? This is like our end to be Eir Shalom and Mideh So, uh, so the, and then we conclude yesterday, and that, that's why Dafke, it's, and it's, it's even higher than him at the end also. Okay, so let's see it involved. So the Rebbe, this is where we started yesterday, but it's still not uh, not hundred percent right. Okay, this is where we stopped yesterday. Okay, so now the Rebbe says as a please. Okay. Still okay. Well, the beer is over anything on some aspect. This explanation is not a hundred percent satisfied. The Baba's midas is Shomesh is midas emes. Since the midah of Meish is emes, is the chindem kinafkimina lechida tzidas is beis egefinsech the matter. 
on his Oizah for Shlokos of Mahamadin, other in their Tzayt, but I help by Elias Nishmasi Lamed. It doesn't matter whether Moshe Rabbeinu is down in this world completing Yishlechus, being involved in Yishlechus, or the time that Moshe Rabbeinu is in Hashem has to go to Maila. The whole Lakim Makim is in Yonisham Misha, Midas Emes. Misha personifies the idea of Emes. So you're saying at the time that he passes away, he is feeling the emes of the mila of Avidus or the of of Aaron. The Rebbe says as if they made a beer with Zeh, I'll dare to have said this. He did explain that anything in his status may not mean not only status but even Gashmi. Since the Meishah Rabbeinu passes away, your status doesn't mean phys- only physically. The Meishah Rabbeinu's body is is departing from the world. As the shmos is the stalag givaden for the zayu, nurses always to be a stable galur and roof. There's a spiritual ascent going on. As zayn neshama hot oil given to asas a hechel madrega. The Moshe Rabbeinu's neshama went to a higher level. V D V D to welfare hot the grave Moshe Chayav Amadin. So Moshe Rabbeinu is having an alias aliyah over here. Vayal Moshe l'harnevay. That means the peruchnius Moshe Rabbeinu is going to a level. Which he, uh, which uh, he's, he, which he's attaining a level, which is much the way it was down. Yeah, much higher than he was before. Right. You do the touch beer and possibly Yam Meisha Laharna It says in at the end of the parsha that Meisha went on Mount Nevoi. Nun, what's Nevoi? So it says is Nun Boy. Nevoi is Nun is fifty. Boy, what does that mean? Fifty. The Meshech Chaim Chayis Ba'Amadin. Moshe his whole life he was able to uh, attain the 49 gates of understanding. So what does that mean? The Moshe went and he finally uh, reached to the Nun Boy, the 50th uh, Shari Bina. This is also the inner explanation of 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 Vayal Meisha, the Meisha went up. Meisha is in Yanei. What's Meisha? Meisha uh, is Hamshafa Milmaila Lemata Shushivina Demalka. So Meisha Rabbeinu, he is like it's like the escort of the king. So Meisha is the idea of he's being Mamshich Milmaila Lemata. Was there far how to Aroge Brach Teira Lemata Meisha Kibul Teira Misina Misara Yeshua. That's when Misara fully. That's when Meisha Rabbeinu says his Avedo was the idea of Hamshafa. So Meisha was the one, was the one who was Zeichet to bring the terror down from Milmaila Lamata. Mashenkin Aaron Shushivin in the Matarus. Meisha, I'm Aaron. His avidit is to like the escort of the of the queen. Eres Madlik or Maila the Neiros Ham Neira. What's Aaron? Behal the Ischas and Neiros. He liked the Neiros. He liked the Yidden. Asher Dei shall shall have us Elam Ela. Was Ruchin is What does it mean? Aaron's avidit is Behal the Ischas and Neiros. As a very brave Neshamas Neir Havai Nishmas Adam. As they is all Shtein and Aliyah L'Shoshim L'Kedem. That Aaron's avid is to enlight and to bring up the the shamans of the Eden, and they should be in an aliyah from with their source. Now, so Meishar when he passed away, he or the day he's passing away, he's going higher from the level that he was before. Hala Milmata Lamaila. So with the through accomplishing the Aveda of Aaron by Yal to being Maila, in other words, not only being Mamshat, but also being Maila the Mata Lamaila, so he has both both Mailas. And thus for Abuna Madam was a Dan Zechigwan Lim Sharna. This is connected with the fact that he was Zecha to the Sharnun. The Veshaf Imechayo, and Avedis Mesh is given Mudur Lias like Midasim at Shamesha. So the mesh of his whole life, when it's when it's limited to his avida, hot by him, may given Allah over blaze ben tashar bina was misper mamtes vice if the hag bala from the belt. What's forty nine? Forty nine is divided seven. Seven times seven. What's seven? Shavus mei abinin. Seven is teva. Shmeina or eight is higher than teva. So his whole life he was very movable in teva. Shas over by him hot zechuf kitan der inyan from by yal aliyah v'itzir from zayin kedarim. But now he's at the end of his life. Is able to go by Yal, is able to go higher than the Gedarim. As an Avoida is lit by Grenis, I feel lit by Tiri, Nishas, Betusha, Midas Emes. He's not limited by his Avoida, Midas Emes. Lois and Kalf and Amshafa, Mamayla Mata, nor by him 
is euch gewarnt gewähnt, die Hallo am Matel und Meiler, ist der mit verbunden, was zu ihm ist nicht dann gewarnt, der Schar und Schlamm und Meiler. So, darf ge, so his whole life, his whole life, he was very limited in Memta Schari, that's why he was only saying to the Memta Schari Bina. Now, by Yalma, she's able to go higher, is able to also have the level of Matel and Meiler, and it's able to bring him to the Schar Nut. Or Pizem, it's when ich verstehe, when ich get him in your fit, I was so, I was shallow. Be bald as by be by be yom tirosa is by Moshe given the avodah from by Yam Madrigas Aaron. So Moshe Rabbeinu he attained the level of Aaron as well. But the derivative dam of the head, the malaf and the was shown through Aaron was had the greatest aliyin. So now that Moshe Rabbeinu was able to get out of his box and to be in in Aaron's box, now he's able to to reach the level of Aaron, even going to the lowest of all the yidden. Eshleim Aaron's was Aaron. Eshleim Aaron's from them Aaron zet men noch and inging begreit la avos yisrael from Moshe Rabbeinu. We see another. Greatness uh, And what is he saying? The day he passes away, what does he stress? He stresses about Aaron. He does Eden on the front of Aaron, if we break, and Tif is more sein than even our soul. But he's just stressing and the day that he passes away, he's stressing the my love Aaron of how much he has to have obviously soul. The coconut that great law ill for Azan Avasi so. But Zir had already given a mile by Kedish Meshach, he may say him with Dagger with Dagger and Avasi so, Pompey or Hot Mile given by Kedish Babu, the Hong Yonic Dusha, Kedish, that not looking at his own Avasi so, which he had the ultimate level of Avasi so, after the beginning is just not maspe. It's not enough on Minmuz, the fear of the Aaron. You have to be like Aaron Radio Film, Mr. Shalom, and Easter Day of an Easter Mouse. So just to recap, just in short, why does it say by Yifko call you so? By by uh, Aaron and not by Moshe. Why Moshe Taki didn't have this Avedah is because Moshe's Avedah was the Avedah of Emes, Midas Emes. Because of his personality and the Avedah that David gave him in this world, he wasn't able to get into Aaron's level because Aaron's level, you have to be Mishan of Emes. You have to be, and that it has a mind that you're able to go and make Shalom and to go down to the lowest levels, but it's not who Moshe Abedah is. You're asking him to do something which he's not. After the day that Moshe Rabbeinu Vayal Moshe is able to go higher than his Hakbala to go to Sharnon, then he's able to also get into Aaron's Aaron shoes. And you see the ultimate Anibus that Moshe had at the day that he passes away. What does he stress? Doesn't stress be like me and 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 no. Yeah, the ultimate level of, of Aaron is the ultimate level of Aaron's Israel is Aaron's Aaron's Israel. All right.